technology then. Are you on Twitter? No, I'm not. Um, uh, I'm not on Twitter. I think that I think that you know politicians do have to think about what we say, and I think the trouble with Twitter, the instantness of it, <laughs> is is I think there's too many twits might make a twat. <laughs> <laughs>《How to Make Pringles Relevant to the Twitter Generation》A generation we've neglected for too long. Impatient, frenetic 16 to 24 year olds with short attention spans. Who spend their lives on Twitter, Facebook, instant messaging, texting. How to stick out, get noticed and not get lost in a sea of social media. Well, Pringles is all about sharing. So we help them share more. No way! There's too much of that already. How about we help them stop sharing so much? Oversharing. What? Oversharing. Okay, okay. So we invented Pringles Help the Oversharers, a clever way of telling their friends to zip it. Whenever they make share too much, they send the overshare to our Twitter account. These were then fed into online banners where the world could see them and laugh. It was an instant hit. Three million Pringles fans on Facebook helped spread the word. And the word was overshare. Suddenly everyone was LOL about Mike's pants and Adam's ingrown toenail. A Facebook overshare button and press ads, supported by the Help the Oversharers website, spread the campaign around the world. And every time people flagged an overshare, they made a simple point. Pringles are one of the few things worth sharing. The result? Over 700 likes in the first two hours. One in four people downloaded our plugin. Massive seven minute dwell time on our site. Pringles help the oversharers. Isn't it time you asked your friends to put a sock in it? Or better still, a Pringle? Pringles. One of the few things worth sharing.